was entertaining to pick him up throughout the way. He knows all the words, I can verify. As we are underway, wearing the hoops. Great work here. Look at the mall. Advantage. That's the power, the physicality from Rugby ATL. They're still playing an advantage here with House Money. When that penalty was called, Atlanta was hoping for a penalty try to be awarded. Not the case, but all Two. of a sudden, Toronto's going to have their back against the try zone. Two. Down Collapsing. a man. This is huge. It's going to be Andrew Quatrin. Well, this is the most successful journey into the try zone, setting up that driving ball out of the line out. Can Atlanta dot it down? They do. Jans van Rensburg with his third try, the South African here in 2021. Manu Montero can do in that situation. Great go forward from the pack of rugby ATL. And understandably, a little disappointment there for Montero. As Rugby Atlanta fired up to get this ball back and denied an equalizer. A bit of a mistake there, but that's who you want with ball in hand. If you're Toronto, charge down. And there's your answer moments later. That ball winds up in the loving arms of Mike Shepard, the pride of Brampton. Able to dot it down. We're level at fun. Uh, without actually taking the time to look. Lincoln, you said it, Carl say, dancing a bit too much. Great quick work to the breakdown. Opportunity for the arrows. They've got support out wide, and this is elementary. The arrows now unanswered back-to-back -back tries. This time the captain Ben Lassange. 25% percentage. You see it right here. Can I interest you in three on one? Now fantastic stuff. Gaston Mides, the Uruguayan. The two powerhouse programs. Looking for a window, able to apply just enough pressure to secure the fun. And who else but the local boy, the number eight, Jason Dom, born right here in Marietta, raised in South Carolina. And now all of a sudden back within a score, down by a pair. Dom doing a great job, just will, able to reach it out. Who can secure the victory? And today, who can secure the silverware? See if either one of these sides can really take the final five minutes and put some more points on the board heading into the sheds. Pat Parfrey with a touch there for a moment. In his 14th career appearance here in MLR. Parfrey somehow able to do that as well as he's in the doctoral program getting his PhD in clinical epidemiology at the University of Newfoundland. Talk about a busy schedule. Seems relevant. And again, another one that will touch the Georgia sky. Finally comes down, well played, into the arms of Carlson. Thank you, Chase from Montero, right there immediately. Oh, stolen away. Good work by Toronto. As spills loose, you know, keeps scooping up. He thinks he sees an angle, and we're off to the races. O'Keefe with one man to beat, extra lunge is not going to do it. Or is it? Oh, they're going to give it to him. He wasn't wrapped up. Mark O'Keefe, the Irishman, so easy to pick out with that shock of dyed blonde hair. Great conversion from a difficult angle. Take another look. Ball knocked through. It was knocked away. O'Keefe there and knifing right through the arrow's defense. Mires unable to get the shoestring tackle. Downs Van Rensburg, who got the scoring started today. Accurate throw, nice take from Halu. Quickly sets up the mall. A charging mall, where will it stop? Jans Van Rensburg thinking about a brace, he's got it. And that is just how they true it up. Marco Jans Van Rensburg with a bullet throw to Vili Halu. They set up the mall. The big men there, they get the push. I was underneath Manuel Viana, nothing the Uruguayan number eight can do. Bulk of the season so far to finally welcome the Seawolves home. Yeah, the Seawolves finally back at home there, Starfire and Tuckwilla. Toronto has numbers and an opportunity here. The final layoff, and still waiting for the indication.
Another look here. And you take another look. Good ball outside, collected by Lesage. Then on the Levas. Levas, that final offload, and Mines does the rest. Another four meters to go. And right through, no one That's picking up. Missile Kalu. Well, who's going to get it? No one is the answer. Right through, just. It's a brand new ball game. O'Keefe been outstanding on both defense and attack. All extra man, but steps out of play. Appear to be in touch in this one. Adams off the tee. Toronto with the lead. Heroes now three points ahead. And going backwards, back at the midfield stripe now. Paxer, that ball looked like it spilled forward. Erica does the honors. Here is that mall. Can Toronto hold? Oh, what a push defensively from the arrows, not giving up an inch. The burden on the arrows, not to pick up a whistle. Paxer. All the tension has built here in the final moments. Oh, Dom Deacon there as well. Inside five meters. Five meters separating Atlanta from a comeback and a trophy to prove it. Deacon just shy. One meter away. Again at the death, will it be Rugby ATL? Snatching the victory away from Toronto. J.P. Doyle keeps his close eye. Not this time. And there it is. Atlanta. Back on top, just in the nick of time. Ross Deacon, the substitute at the pylon, able to dot it down. And that's something that we're we're all about is hard work. So it's uh, yeah, I I can't I can't congratulate each one of these boys enough. Like, do you know what I mean? It's just 80 minutes of hard work. So. Ross, the inaugural Fire and Ice Cup years when he played for Life U, now is a professional representing the community of Atlanta. They'll tack on another pair. Rugby ATL upon the final whistle.